A princess costume isn't a waste of money if you wear it often enough. But clothing that demands the royal treatment definitely is. It's one of the five things I'm going to talk about today that you should stop wasting money on. Because wasting money sucks and you deserve better. Today's video is also brought to you by GlassesUSA.com, which is giving away two full sets of prescription glasses or sunglasses in this video. Stay tuned to find out how to win. Hi, I'm Sarah, also known as Budget Girl here on the internet, and I believe that you can meet all of your money goals and build your best life with the aid of a budget. I make videos every single week on how to manage your money, pay off debt, and live the life of your dreams on less. If you'd like to learn how to level up with your money, I'd love it if you subscribed to join the budget fam. And if you like not paying for things unnecessarily, like this video. Here's the first thing you should never waste money on. Pre-packaged food. We all know that buying pre-chopped veggies and fruits costs about quadruple over buying the item whole and chopping it yourself. If you're willing to take a few minutes to wield your own knife and put things in your own Tupperware, you'll save a pretty penny. If you batch your chopping for the week, you can save time, money, and encourage yourself to use up the food you've bought during the week because you've already put some work into it, a sunk cost, if you will, and it's all ready to go. But one of the biggest trends in grocery stores these days is pre-prepared meals that you just cook yourself at home. If you've been near the front entrance of your local grocer recently, you've probably noticed this ever-expanding section. It's advertised as cheaper than going out, and the meals always look well-balanced and actually pretty good. This is actually one of the biggest growing grocery trends and is catering to busy people who don't have the time or the mental space to meal plan and prep themselves. But they're charging you out the butt for that convenience. Instead of condemning that whole section as a money waster, I say browse that area and then buy the individual ingredients needed to make those prepackaged meals and you'll be able to make it for your family at a fraction of the price. They did the planning, the work, and they even list all of the ingredients on the package and the cooking instructions. So snap a picture if something looks good and then walk yourself to the back of the store. You're already there anyway. Assemble the meal yourself. You'll save a ton and perhaps find some new good ideas. And if you need more meal plan and prep inspo, check out my budget meal planning playlist that I'll link below where I put together a grocery list, a week long meal plan, and I show you what I make for around $50 a week for two people. Number two, bottled water. Bottled water drives me crazy. The single use plastic it comes in is not only terrible for the environment, but it's expensive as heck. If you buy water regularly, that $1 plus price tag is going to add up to so much money over the course of your month and year. Get a few reusable bottles that you almost definitely already have and take them with you or place them permanently where you often are. I have a dedicated bottle at work at my desk for water, which I wash regularly and fill up daily. It helps me drink more, stay hydrated, and never pay a cent for drinks. If I'm headed out on errands for the day, I grab a reusable bottle from my fridge or cabinet and take it with me. I have never once regretted bringing it with me. Nearly always regret not bringing it because then I end up in a drive-thru or at a gas station spending money that could have gone to a new plant friend or my retirement, same thing. If you have bad water in your area, you have some options. They sell reusable water bottles that have a filter built right in that you don't even have to wait for it to filter. It filters as you drink. I'm lucky enough to have filtered water at work and access to an ice maker, but at home I have a simple Brita pitcher that I've had for over five years. And I drink from that instead of the tap. I get replacement filters on sale with, or with coupons about once a year, and those suckers really do last a long time. Also, I never run out. I fill up these reusable bottles and have them waiting in the fridge to grab and go. It's the same exact thing as the disposable, but no continuing costs. In the same arena, if you regularly buy drinks when you're eating out, you're robbing your restaurant bill and bloating your eating out budget. They mark up soda at restaurants up to 500%, and you can save up to 10% on your overall bill when you opt for refreshing free water. And over the course of a month or two, you could save up enough to eat out an entire additional time just for the cost of your usual Coke. If you really love soda, buy it at the grocery store on sale and take it with you from the fridge. It's so much less money. And the same thing goes for alcohol. Try dinner out and do drinks at home. It'll add up 
Plus, then you don't need a designated driver. Number three, full price glasses. So glasses are a need for those of us who wear them, but optical store prices can be crazy. I once paid $300 for a pair of frames from a lens crafters. Poor, dumb, past me. I had no idea back then that you could buy glasses online and that they are the exact same dang frames and lenses and quality that you'd buy in a store. GlassesUSA.com is a company that I've worked with for years. They offer high quality prescription glasses and sunglasses for a fraction of the price that you pay in a retail store. I've been wearing these frames for literally three years. These are my absolute favorite and they've held up perfectly, which is practically a miracle considering how many times I've dropped them and stepped on them. I'm also a huge fan of prescription sunglasses, especially for the summer. I'm a 31 year old lady now and I'm just over squinting at the sun or using regular sunglasses and not being able to see as well, that's dumb. Prescription sunglasses are honestly a game changer and surprisingly affordable, especially when you shop online. I got these really cute red ones for my upcoming cruise to wear when I'm out and about, and seriously, these suckers make a commute or shopping or whatever I'm doing outdoors so much nicer. Sunglasses also help you avoid eye wrinkles and it's totally better for your eye health and your skin. Use all the lotions and potions and vitamin you want, but you can't OD on sunglasses. I also got this clear pink pair, which will be great for the summer. It makes everything a rosy hue, and it's fun to be able to switch it up. And with the amount that you save by ordering online, your budget will stretch so much that you can afford a few options. By the way, if you're worried about not knowing how you'll look in glasses before you order, Glasses USA has this really, really cool advanced online tool called the virtual mirror. You upload a photo and then it automatically lets you try on every single pair of glasses on the site instantly. And it's really accurate to scale on your face. Now I'm not sure how they did it. It's some kind of internet magic, but I'm here for it. If you need some new glasses or sunglasses, skip the money wasting time suck of a physical store this time and order online. And to save even more money, follow the link below. They've set up a special offer just for Budget Girl viewers. I'm also giving away two full sets of glasses or sunglasses and all you have to do to win is go check out my shiny new website. It's called GoBudgetGirl.com and you can comment on any article there. The site is chock full of money saving articles, free printables, and resources for you to live your best life on a budget. It's brand new and I made it just for you and the link is below. Number four, disposable kitchen items. Paper towels, paper plates, napkins, and disposable silverware are all expensive and almost entirely unnecessary. It honestly shocks me how many people regularly buy disposables and use those for at home meals and snacks to avoid cleanup. I get it, a stack of paper plates sitting on top of the microwave is very tempting to heat up a quick meal, but if you're buying those even once a month, that's money down your trash can. If you'd like to save some money every single month, get yourself some reusables and use them every single time. It was good enough for your grandma and you know she had her shiz together. Instead of paper towels, which are so not cute, spend $10 or less and invest in some kitchen towels which can clean the gunky messes and be tossed in your wash with your towels, leggings, and stinky socks. I use these to wipe down counters, dry dishes, clean up spatters, and any other kitchen mess that doesn't involve grease. How do you deal with baking grease if you don't have paper towels? First off, don't put it down the drain unless you want more money or landlord problems later. Pour it into a small ceramic bowl and let it harden, and then scoop it out with a piece of paper food packaging or plastic and put it right into the trash. Next, switch your paper napkins with some cloth ones. This isn't just a money saver, this is a life upgrade. Cloth napkins make it like eating at a fancy restaurant every single night. Also, cloth napkins feel better on your face and hands, last longer, and are just plain more impressive. Try it and thank me later. By the way, I usually pick up my cloth napkins at yard sales and thrift shops for about 10 cents each, but bandanas also work great and can be bought for a maximum price of a dollar each. Unless you're picnicking, use real plates. They don't have to match. I didn't have three that matched until I became debt free and you can get them at the thrift store for pennies. Paper, plastic, or styrofoam plates are a huge waste of production resources and just shouldn't be something you're regularly using. Soap is cheaper. 
Same with silverware. And no excuse if you're a college student, a real plate or two is cheaper and you can wash it in a bathroom sink like I did all through college. I've had a zero waste kitchen for years. I use about one roll of paper towels a year, bought by my paper loving family every Christmas, and it's pretty much exclusively for dog messes. Number five, princess clothing. Now I'm not talking about a princess costume. If you want a princess costume for yourself or for your dog, you do it and then take a picture and tag me on Instagram at GoBudgetGirl because I want to see that and leave you a heart emoji coming. I'm talking about clothing that requires the care and attention of a royal to be a participant in your life. These are your dry clean only items, the things you have to spend two hours a week ironing by hand, the hand wash stuff, all that nonsense. They're pretty, I get it, and we all deserve beautiful things. But if we're being brutally honest with ourselves, are we really wearing those finicky items as often as we do our go-to pieces? I'm talking about those great cotton or heck even poly blend options that you can shove in a backpack and then throw on and look and feel great. I gave up spending my money on anything that requires too much time or effort to maintain years ago and I've never been happier. One, I don't even own an iron, nor have I ever brought anything to the dry cleaners. That's money I just don't have to spend. And that doesn't mean that I dress like a slob. I, well, on weekends I do, but I dress nicely, especially for work. I just think about how much maintenance a piece is going to require before I purchase it. I know myself well enough to know that I am just not gonna put in the effort to wear something that requires care beyond washing and drying. So if I buy any princess clothing, it's not going to be a reasonable cost per use for wear. Stop wasting money on princess clothes. Once again, unless it's a princess costume, in which case you do you. Unless you have to iron it, then screw that. So those were the five things that you should stop wasting money on. I would love to hear what of these you don't waste money on or do, and what you've eliminated from your spending because you thought it was a waste of money. I'd also love to know what you think about the things I've cut out to save money. It works for me and I hope it works for you too. If you've liked this video, I'd love it if you gave it a like. It's a totally free thing that honestly helps my channel. And if you'd like to learn more ways to save, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Also free. Don't forget to check out the link below. It is a special offer just for you Budget Girl viewers and absolutely go check out GlassesUSA.com. I love them. If you need some new glasses, you're going to love them too. I'll see you guys next time.